Hi, I'll be talking about the role of chemical engineers in the oil and gas industry, as well as the renewable energy sector, with some mention of sustainability. The oil and gas industry is divided into three primary categories, upstream, midstream, and downstream companies. Upstream operations involve exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas, where companies identify oil deposits and extract or frack crude oil from wells. In the midstream sector, the crude petroleum product is transported to downstream refineries by pipeline, rail, oil tanker, or truck, or otherwise stored. Finally, downstream operations refer to the refining or cracking process of crude oil into usable components, as well as the distribution of the finished petroleum products to consumers. Most major oil companies are involved in all three sectors and are called integrated oil companies. Qualified chemical engineers play a very important role in these sectors, particularly the upstream sector and the downstream sector. In the upstream, chemical engineers manage projects related to tanks, pumps, and other facilities. They also work as subsurface engineers. The job of a subsurface engineer is to effectively select equipment that will best suit the subsurface or below the earth's surface environment in order to best produce hydrocarbon reserves. Since reservoirs are essentially large tanks filled with porous media and reservoir fluids like oil, gas, and water, in order to recover oil or gas from a reservoir, chemical engineering fundamentals such as fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and heat transfer must be understood and applied. In the midstream, chemical engineers ensure petroleum and oil materials go directly into gas tanks. In the downstream, chemical engineers oversee the refining of petroleum crude oil and raw natural gas since they manage, control, and maintain systems in industrial and chemical plants. After the fractional distillation process in a distillation tower to separate crude oil into its fractions of different boiling points and carbon chain lengths, engineers oversee processes of cracking, reforming, alkylation, polarization, and isomerization to convert the fractions into useful soluble products. These mixtures of new compounds are then separated using methods such as fractionation and solvent extraction. Impurities are also removed by various methods like dehydration, desalting, sulfur removal, and hydro-treating. For a more detailed look into these processes, I have linked a resource in the description below. The downstream sector reaches consumers through products such as gasoline or petrol, kerosene, jet fuel, diesel oil, heating oil, and etc., as well as hundreds of petrochemicals. Since extracting oil and gas is increasingly difficult due to the increasing scarcity of these fossil fuels, chemical engineers are paid highly by oil and gas companies to extract and refine crude oil. Typical chemical engineer jobs include field engineer, production shift engineer, civil works engineer, drilling engineer, safety engineer, and more. To some people, the existence of petroleum engineers, a branch of chemical engineers, seems contradictory. Aren't chemical engineers supposed to strive for sustainability? In that case, how can they work in the field of oil and gas that is undoubtedly unsustainable? According to the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, sustainability and eco-friendliness is becoming increasingly important for the chemical engineering discipline, as green modifiers are added in the name of engineering departments and the content of chemical engineering curricula. The key points relevant to sustainability in chemical engineering are using alternate bio-based feedstock for energy and chemicals, using different raw materials that are more eco-friendly, using green processes with a minimal carbon footprint and environmental impact, recycling more, and finally, using more renewable alternative energy sources like solar power and wind power. Seeing as mining and refining oil and gas to be used as fuels is unfavorable for the environment, does this mean that petroleum engineers defy these outlined points relating to sustainability? Personally, I don't think so. It's undeniable that harvesting energy from fossil fuels has allowed for industrialization and hence the advancement of technology. So I think there will undoubtedly be chemical engineers needed to oversee these processes. Without fossil fuels to power existing machinery and scientific thought, we may not have even considered alternative renewable energy sources as possible. With this clarified, um, how can chemical, or more specifically, petroleum engineers be sustainable in an unsustainable industry? Here are two ways. Number one, petroleum engineers could optimize field operations and management. 
Petroleum engineers are constantly improving techno technologies and processes in drilling, producing, and processing products from wells, a positive measure towards sustainability. Some of these optimization areas, for example, could include producing the maximum number of barrels using fewer wells. This would slow down the depletion of finite fossil fuels to benefit humanity while we develop renewable energy sources. Secondly, um, petroleum engineers could help reduce or eliminate flaring. Flaring is a process where unrecoverable natural gas is burnt and resulting carbon dioxide and methane is released into the atmosphere. Other than carbon dioxide, impurities in the natural gas may cause other emissions such as nitrogen or sulfur oxides which lead to acid rain. To reduce flaring, petroleum engineers could use methods that include re-injecting the carbon dioxide and other gas products or using the gas beneficially locally, such as in generating electricity or manufacturing cooking gas. Petroleum engineers or chemical engineers scale up these methods to make the overall process more efficient. As the issue of sustainability grows more and more urgent, chemical engineers are increasingly filling in roles in the renewable energy sector, as demand for renewable energy engineers will increase in coming years. As renewable energy engineers, chemical engineers oversee industrial processes such as the manufacturing of photovoltaic cells for solar panels and constantly examine ways to improve energy extraction projects to make them greener and more efficient. For example, regarding the solar energy industry, chemical engineers oversee the production of semiconductors using a complex process of photolithography, etching, and metallization. The solar cells are composed of two different types of semiconductors, a p-type and an n-type, that are joined together to create a p-n junction. By joining these two types of semiconductors, an electric field is formed in the region of the junction as electrons move to the positive p-side and holes move to the negative n-side. When light of a suitable wavelength is incident on these cells, energy from the photon is transferred into an atom of the semiconducting material in the p-n junction. Specifically, energy is transferred to the electrons in the material. This causes the electrons to jump to a higher energy state known as the conduction band. When unexcited, the electrons hold the semiconducting material together by forming bonds with surrounding atoms. Thus, they cannot move. However, in the excited state in the conduction band, the electrons are free to move through the material. In a complex process, this creates a current through the cell. Chemical engineers scale up this process to produce photovoltaic cells and solar panels on a large scale. Using the same example of solar energy, chemical engineers assess the need of creating solar installations and panels, including materials, energy, people, machines, and information. They research sites, energy usages and needs, and system capabilities. Aside from this, chemical engineers also use computer modeling software to produce detailed designs and energy production estimates, prepare project plans, schedules of work and cost estimates, manage the integration of the renewable energy produced into existing systems, and test equipment and processes in a lab to make sure they are suitable for large-scale use. As finite fossil fuel energy sources are depleting rapidly and the global energy landscape is changing drastically, jobs are multiplying for chemical engineers looking into the renewable energy sector. With the effects of global warming becoming ever more pronounced and deadly, countries are increasing investment into solar, wind, geothermal, and other renewable power sources, bringing down prices in the process and increasing their scalability for chemical engineers. Indeed, according to Business Insider, renewable energy engineers, among them chemical engineers, are predicted to have a 10.6% job growth by 2026. Nonetheless, regardless of the type of technology used to generate and store energy, there is always a need to create and oversee large-scale chemical processes that enable us to harvest this energy and use it efficiently, meaning chemical engineers will always be in demand.